Now, two months ago, New Orleans Distillery Porch Jam was making its vodka, but today it spends its time and resources helping fight the coronavirus. Eric caught up with the CEO and founder, Gordon Stewart, to talk about their pivot into hand sanitizer. The COVID-19 pandemic has affected businesses all across America and here in the metro area. One of the biggest distilleries, or probably the biggest distillery in the region, is Porch Jam Distillery over in Mid-City. And Gordon Stewart is the owner, and you have totally transformed your business because necessity is the mother of invention. It turns out, Eric, that is true. Yeah, um, thanks. Uh, yeah, we um, elected uh, only, it seems like four years ago, it was only four weeks ago, uh, to repurpose our entire facility to make uh, hand sanitizer. Um, it was a very fast moving space, but uh, we discovered just how um, severe the need was uh, for this product. And because our business is making ethanol and hand sanitizer is nothing other than ethanol and water uh, that I elected to say, well, you know, we're going to down tools and we're going to, you know, really fight in the front line to fight this thing uh, and to provide hand sanitizer to the, to the industries that need it. And you were telling me, had it not been for this move, which is helping a lot of people because you're making something that is really needed right now, your business would have been in a lot of trouble. We would have been, yeah. I mean, our business is dependent on bars and restaurants and hotels being open, uh, not just, you know, in New Orleans, but, you know, regionally and nationally. And it's, uh, it's had a significant impact on uh, the distilling industry uh, nationally. Yeah, and you make Bolden Vodka. That's probably your, your biggest name brand. But you also make liquors for other other uh, distributors. We do, for other producers, yeah. Um, producers, yeah. We, yeah, we are, because of the scale of our distillery, we're able to manufacture at volume. And, um, and we have obviously seen a, a downturn in, in uh, sales of those products as well. So, I mean, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's been a severe hit to our industry. And the other thing, uh, because this has turned out so successfully, and if you can, I'll get you to hold up one of the, one of the bottles, because you, you guys are doing more industrial size uh, yeah. hand sanitizers. Uh, you not only didn't lay off anybody, you had to hire extra people. We did, and it's great. And I mean, I feel, you know, the, 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 the idealistic part of me is happy that we've been able to, uh, to actually give, uh, give some people a job uh, in a, a time of need, but... Um, but yeah, we've been able to take on, you know, like several staff locally. And so you're not making little, little bitty things for people to use, right? We're not, no. Um, that's a, that's a, show, show us what you got there. Sure. So this is, um, this is a gallon container that we, uh, we sell. We sell this. Uh, really, this goes nationally right now. This product is, uh, I know, almost 40 states, I think, nationally. Uh, so this is the standard uh, formulation uh, that we make. Um, and the, the good thing about this product, that th this really serves two, uh, two, uh, two necessities. Um, it's a hand sanitizer, but it's also a sterilant. So many of our, uh, our customers are using this to sterilize surfaces and, you know, it can be used in a spray. So you can spray down a worktop, uh, an elevator button, uh, you know, uh, the, a, a seat that you sit down on, whatever it is, uh, it can be used for that. So it's a pretty versatile product. And I'm assuming you're not going to transform your business to make hand sanitizer for the rest of your life. I mean, you're so, going to go back to making vodka and stuff, right? It was not my boyhood dream to make hand sanitizer, so I will probably go back to making alcohol again. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a, you know, I'm a, a booze sound. I've been doing this for over 20 years, so uh, we'll get back to the the core core strategy of our business. But uh, but right now there's a a significant need in. Um, uh, you know, I think the way, the way that I look at it, Eric, you know, I see this, that we are, we're contributing to the fight against this. We don't war with this thing. And um, it's, you know, the risk of this decimating our societies and our economies, not just in the US, but globally is, is a problem. And uh, the, if I can continue to, you know, in my own humble, small way, make a product that can contribute to the fight against that, then we'll continue to do that. And you said something, we're, we're about out of time, but you said something very interesting even though it seems like more people are drinking now, a lot of distilleries are, are going to be in trouble and you say maybe go under. Yeah, I mean, I hope this isn't the case, but um, our national associations are talking about that um, maybe, you know, 30, 40 percent of distilleries uh, may struggle to survive through this, uh, especially the smaller ones that depend on um, people coming through the door to actually consume their products. 
Um, so yeah, it could have a, a long standing negative impact on industry. So hopefully, you know, uh, we can, uh, we can help use this, you know, we can use our asset in terms of production to yeah. make this product to help in the short term. And hopefully that can help sustain some of our business in the longer term. All right, Gordon, quickly, if people want to get some of your product, how do they get a hold of you? They can go on to our website, porch-jam.com. Uh, and there's a link on there to buy and get it shipped to you directly. Um, and we can also, um, we've got a contact connection on the website and they can get right through to me or any of my staff and we can help them. Okay, great. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Eric.